Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my go-to bushcraft knife and the knife that I've been using for probably over a year now and one that I can really rely on and it's just an all-round quality bushcraft knife. So I'm going to be talking through that today and hopefully be giving some people some ideas. I've done a video like this before on all of my bushcraft knives that I own um, so if you haven't seen that then go have a look-see and what you should really be looking for when you are looking and purchasing a knife. So when you're searching for a knife you kind of want something that covers what you do whether that's skinning animals, that's carving, that, whether it's feather sticks and fire skills, whether it's making kindling, whatever it is that you need that knife for and it should be able to do that. But I think when it comes to a bushcraft knife it's one knife that you want to use that covers all of them things so it's sort of like an all-rounder because you can get particular carving knives, you can get certain skinning knives with thin blades with a certain type of grind. This knife paired with a sort of at or a hatchet is ideal and it's everything I need pretty much. I also carry a sort of cooking knife which has a different grind. Before I go any further I just wanted to mention that I am on private land. I get a lot of people asking and saying that you cannot be carrying a knife this size on public land so I just wanted to clarify that. Right so here it is. This is the Castrom number 10 forest knife and this also has a fire still attached to the sheath. I'm a big fan of their knives. Like I said, I have used different knives. I used to be a massive fan of the TBS range. They do some great knives. I've got the TBS Boar as well as the TBS Armour Pucko. TBS Boar. I've owned this knife probably the, it's been the second longest actually out of all of these. This was the first proper knife that I bought. You can sort of see now, I think, but I'll show you a close-up of how carbon steel goes. It can rust and corrode really easily. The next knife I'm going to be looking at is the TBS Armour Pucko. So this has been my go-to bushcraft knife for quite a while now. This is what I've been using before I went over to the Castrom. So, I'm just using the Castrum at the minute, seeing what I like about it. I think it's nice to mix up different knives and see what you like. You might... I'm going to say why I sort of switched over to the Castrum. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like this. I'm just saying what I recommend and what's worked for me and trying to recommend quality products for people who are searching for a knife. So first off, one of the features is this lovely leather sheath. I know you can get different sort of sheaths whether it's like plastic or kydex something like that i've always been a big fan of leather sheaths just because i think they fit nice they look good and they also hold the moisture in the blade it also includes a drainage hole at the bottom and a place to store a ferro rod which is really handy because you've got combustion and a cutting tool only thing with a leather sheath is once it's wet it's going to take a really long time to dry out now moving on to the actual blade and the knife itself. This is 22 centimetres long and four millimetres thick. The knife is full tang and full tang just adds a lot of strength. It also has a Scandi grind. The positives of a Scandi grind is that it's robust, it's easier to sharpen and really effective for wood carving. Like I mentioned before, you can get different grinds and different grinds suit different things. This is Sleepner Steel, which is from a Swedish company and it really holds its edge and easy to sharpen again. You can either choose stainless steel or non-stainless and there's a lot of pros and cons to that also. It just means this gets a bit more rustier, so I have to look after it and make sure it doesn't get too wet and damp. So that's just drying it off before I put it away in its sheath. So like I said, Castrom is a Swedish brand. And when you really look at the quality stuff that comes out of Sweden when it comes to bushcraft, there is a lot of different brands, such as Fall Raven. They make some great products. And now with the handle, this has got a curly birch handle and the ergonomics design is amazing on these and really comfortable to hold when you're using it. And I think this is the thing that sold me onto this knife. It is so comfortable to hold for a long time. And when you've been holding a knife, where whether you're carving or using it to strike a ferro rod or 
feather sticks, etc. It's so comfortable and you don't get that aching feeling in your hand. I think it's a much slimmer handle than the others such as TBS and it's just fitted really lovely and I just think it's a really comfortable knife to hold. It's thick enough to put my thumb there to put more force on when I'm using the fist grip. So overall I think they are the main features you should focus on when you're going for a bushcraft knife. So that is having a 90 degree spine to strike a ferro rod. It's having a full tang blade that goes through the handle. It's having a handle with good ergonomics so it's comfortable to hold for a long amount of time. I would ideally say go with a Scandi grind as it's really easy to get an edge back on your blade and it doesn't take loads of maintenance and it's also really good for taking material off wood. And also a blade that's of good size, but you obviously have to watch the length that you carry with the rules now. And also a sheath where the knife really fits snug and is secure and not gonna come out. Some sheaths include a popper, so it's extra secure, but this one fits in really nice to the shape of the blade. I also love the fact that you can have your ferro rod right on your knife so it, you can carry it at all times and that is a decent sized ferro rod and that's all you really need for carrying with you and I also like that it's got the curly birch matching holder on it. So yeah I really hope this video has helped if you've been looking for a knife to get. Feel free to leave your go to bushcraft knife in the comments. Thank you so much for watching another video. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all my Patreons for supporting me. I will see you next week's video. Take care.